Hi friends welcome back my another After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial we will show you, how to make particle intro, using your logo. Let's see what we will be create now. So let's get started. Open After Effect and create a new composition. Let's call it Particle Logo Animation. As always I am using 30 frames per second. In time duration, I will take here 10 seconds for enough for this intro. But you are free to choose your own setting. Now create a new solid for your background. I am name this layer to be G. But here you can make it any color you want because you are going to apply a gradient to it and hit OK. Now go to the effect and presets and search for the gradient ramp. Apply on it to same background layer. And let's adjust the color of it. I am using the color, according to my logo, choose the color on, which your logo should visible properly. I am using here, blue and black color combination. Now grab this anchor point, and place something like here. And then, place this point, here. Now your gradient will look like this. Let's import your logo to see if it is looking okay with this background and then place it above the background layer. As you can see, my logo is too big size. Select this logo layer and press S key to open scale properties. Some reduce scale value to this logo size. Something like that. Perfect. Now add another solid. Let's call it background shades. And then hit OK. Again go to the effect and presets. And this time search for the fractal noise. You will find if under noise and grain, apply on the, the background shades layer. And, let's adjust the setting. First, change contrast to, 50. And change brightness to 30. Also, change complexity to 1. And the expand this transfer option and make sure to uncheck this uniform scaling now change to scale width to 1000 and also change to scale height to 500 here you are fine nice looking shades now we are going to change the blending mode of this layer go to mode and choose multiply if you don't find your mode tab here press F4 to switch between mode and another option right click here go to columns and modes here you see this nice looking background perfect now select your logo and pre compose it and let's call it logo make sure to select move all attributes into the new composition option and then hit OK now again Go to the effect and presets and search for the CC ball action. Apply onto the logo layer and let's animate it. Go to around 3 seconds and add a keyframe into the scatter. 
Also add a keyframe onto the rotation as well. And the last add a keyframe onto the ball size. Now go to the first frame. And here change scatter amount 500. Change the rotation axis to Z axis. And also first rotation value to negative 2. I am also changing ball size to 300. Perfect. Now select your logo layer and press U to open all keyframe. And here is the ball size keyframe. Take the last keyframe and place it on the 1 seconds. Now select all keyframe. Right click on it, go to keyframe assistant and easy ease them. Click here and open graph editor. In case your graph does not look this, right click on it and select edit speed graph. Select the end keyframes and change the curves to something like this. Also change the curves of ball size keyframes as well switch back to the timeline this is our animation look still now perfect let's make it more interesting go to the effect and presets tab and search for the glow effect apply onto the logo layer match your glow intensity of your logo particle if does not look intensity is your choice. Then change the amount of glow intensity from here. Perfect. And then search again for the curves effect. Apply on the logo layer and change the curves to add brightness to your logo. Cool. Again go to the effect and presets, and this time search for the CC force motion blur effect. This effect will add motion blur to the particles. So let's apply on the logo layer. Here you will see nice looking motion blur effect. Let's change the shutter angle value to 300. And it will create longer motion trails. Cool. Here is the difference between without motion blur and motion blur. Now go to the 3 second and select your logo layer. Now split this layer. Go to edit menu and split layer. Also shortcut key to control plus shift plus D. Now select the left side upper layer and then remove all applied to this layer. Select this all effect and delete them. Play your animation. Now your logo animation should look like this. Perfect. It's time to add light flare to it. Import this flare into the project. You can download this clip. Link in the description. Place this clip on top of all layer and change its mode to screen. Perfect. Here we have to adjust the placement of this flare. According to the logo appears. Make a sure to timing maths else it look different. Perfect. Select this logo comp. Here is the last step. I am going to add camera blur effect to beginning will create some depth into the scene, go to effect and preset and search CC camera lens blur. Apply onto the particle logo layer. You can see here lens blur applied on our particle. It's looking nice too. Here is the RAM preview this animation with sound effect. Our animation is complete.
I will see you next video. You can follow us on social media. You can get more After Effect and Motion Graphics tutorial. Subscribe now. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.